Whoa, are we frozen? Or are we? Oh, here we are. Uh oh, we've got some kind of Star Wars versus Star Trek war going here. Uh, Star Trek wins. Can't we just have a casual interest in both? We can. We can. You, it's entirely possible. I like Star Wars well enough, but I, I love Star Trek. I love Star Trek more than I love Star Wars. Yeah, I like Star Trek better than Star Wars, but, you know, Star Wars has given me some pleasure. Yeah. Empire Strikes Back is possibly the best movie ever made. It's One of them. See What Games Karen Likes stream. Yeah, anybody got a better idea? Rich? No, no, it's fine. Casual fans need to die. I'll get right on that, Tiberius. Yuck, yuck. Do not spoil the game. Best to walk into it blind. Hmm. Planet Coaster. I do love me some sp some Planet Coaster, but it wasn't playing very well on the uh, computer here. We were having technical difficulties when we tried to play it. It didn't, here. It didn't like streaming. It played yeah. fine. Otherwise, when, we were, when you weren't streaming, but with with streaming, it it freaked out. That's true. We all are working on dying at all times. The heat death of the universe. The shortening of our telomeres. The digestion of my popcorn. Hey, Wolves, if you don't like Star Trek, you don't like Star Trek. No prob. Planet Coaster is the shiznit. Actually, Parkitect, since we tried to play it, I have not... I keep forgetting to play it. And actually right now we still we're still working on it. We gotta get our butts in gear. Right now I do not have a regular working Windows computer. We've got the parts for it. We're painting the case. We just I need can't, to get I can't get her interested in coming here to paint. Yeah. I want the flowers the way she wants them. Eventually I'm just gonna do it on my own. That could work. That's what's gonna happen. Anyway. So like He's got a computer and I've got a computer, like, but I don't have a computer at home, so yeah, I haven't really played Parkitect yet. Can I back off the mic, please, an inch or so? I'm clipping. What's clipping? I'm an idiot. I don't know. Here. Is that better? Is clipping, like, when you hear people's, like, peas and stuff? That's popping your peas. Do I do that? Probably. I do that all the time. We've bought special equipment to try and fix my audio problems, and I, I've, I've bested them all. Please consume more popcorn. Popcorn is good. This is the kind where you just open up the bag and it promises not to have... Do you mind the camera being on? Too much horribleness. You can Cam turn the ca Camera or no camera? Uh, you can turn the camera on, but let me get up and... Use the restroom and get something to drink. Sure. Clipping is when it goes over the maximum audio it can handle and either gets fuzzy or kind of... Okay, okay. Okay. But it's not doing I, it now? I, well, I turned her up because people were saying they couldn't hear her earlier. Yeah, I have a tendency to speak quietly. But I guess I, I've had the camera in my mouth practically... Or the mic in my mouth practically. Turn her back down. It's fine. I think just getting the mic out of my mouth probably does are it. You, are you ready for this, or...? Just give me two minutes. Two? Yeah, about. Oh my god. Two minutes. You've heard the lady.
A cute couple? Well, thank you. Rich, why what? Why what? What's going on? Oh, Twilight Zone Marathon? Yeah! I'm gonna get some snack. Here's some kisses. Aww. Here's she's kisses. No problem. Is this big enough, or do you need a bigger? Do we need to turn the full screen? I think it's alright. I can certainly read that from here. I'm not in the frame. Are either of us in the frame? I don't even see the frame. I don't know. He's grabbing some more snacks for him. He's into the uh, tortilla chips with shredded cheese. I've got the popcorn. We both got the uh, Hershey's Kisses. Half of my face. We'll get it straightened out as soon as it comes in here. You can see my my entire ugly mug. They said that we're like half in the frame or something. I can't even see where we are. going on? I was reading some of it. You should read all of it. It started before I even got back up here. They said you've been man framing because I was half in the frame. Undertale. You're, you're, she's tiny. She is tiny. It's, she is a tiny little girl. I'm about five nothing. Read the thing. Okay, Read testicle on. face. Long ago, the two races ruled, ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbett 201X 2000 something Legends say those who climb the mountain never return I 
like this idiot. <clears throat> yeah. Idiot. Good riddance. Game over. The end. You win. <laughs> and you're dead. And then that, that's the game. You die and it's the opening cutscene. And uh, there's no continues. Cause that's the story. And there's God who looks like Baymax. <laughs> Alright, let me make sure I change the name and the thing. Alright, what do I use to control this? Uh, it's been a while. See if the controller works. I think the controller works with this game. One and four. Well, I did that. Something's working. All right. the game oh for crying out loud there's ball jowls again yeah yeah we'll, we'll get out of here actually i think those are ears nope nope go to begin game usually a is the all right we need a name do you want do you want to name it after you or someone in the chat I don't think we're going to do a full playthrough of this game on stream, so whatever. What do you want to do? So... Oops. No. Can't make it any longer, huh? No, nope. you can't do ball face. <sighs> you just do balls. Pick me, Karen. Me, please. Well, the you. first one I see is Glitch, so I guess something uh, Glitch, so Mr. Glitch, so we're just gonna name it Glitch. <laughs> Backspace. <laughs> oh, come on. G... JK L I T Nope Click Ugh. Backspace Why did these letters like doing that weird vibrating thing? It's obnoxious. T Uh oh. Chad, I think it sounds like she hates it already. See, not impressed so far. No, but have, have I have I played this game? We did like a full stream of this game. See, I go to H and it. I guess technically we didn't get the ending. The the true super omega ending. Done. We just got an ending. Yes. Glitch. <sighs> well, enjoy. Get get up. Get yourself immersed. Okay, I'm walking through a tunnel and getting out in like some kind of gothy museum. You do not sound happy. I'm talking to a flower. Howdy, Howdy I'm flowy. 
Go ahead. No, no. You, flowery. You... I'm flower the flower. It sounds like the pedophile from, uh, what was that, uh, King of the Hill? Nope. Dragon. No, uh, Family Guy. Yep. Same. Well, thank you for comparing me to that. That's great. No! <laughs> You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. That's scary. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry. I'll share some with you. If a stranger starts offering to share love with you, his love... Down here, love is shared through... Do I want to know? Little white friendliness pellets. Is that what he calls them? Are you ready? I'm not sure. Move around. Get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it is kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? DIE! <laughs> Being saved what? by a goat. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Turiel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. <laughs> Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Give me more time to read what she's saying. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will <laughs> practice talking to the dummy. Yo. You encountered the dummy. What do you do? Fight? You gotta hit the button when it's in like the center of that green thing. The dummy stands around absent-mindedly. Yeah. You won zero XP and zero gold. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting, they are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Yes. Come now. All right, I'm going to tell you something about this game. Or should I? I don't know if I should. Do you want to kill things? Kill things. 
Apparently I'm not supposed to kill things. It's up to you! It's entirely up to you! Frog, it attacks you. Frogga didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Yeah, it's not like Karen's gonna do a whole playthrough. It's possible she will love this and continue it at home. It's possible. She kind of babies you. <laughs> and they're gonna keep the dangerous situation. She's taking your hand. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Hold my hand. <laughs> I thought you were going to read this. I was looking at the chat. I would like to walk to the end of the room. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Gee, can I handle that? Forgive me for this. Uh-oh. This is endless. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? So I just sit here forever? I don't know. <laughs> you do what you want to do. You do you, Karen. Yo, frog. What's up? Excuse me, human. I have some advice. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them... They might not want to battle you anymore. The monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. I think that's how you save. Yeah, and restore your... There you go. You haven't noticed for everyone you don't kill by the way you're not gaining xp nope you take a piece of candy mm -hmm. so you stole someone's candy sure okay you'll take another one <laughs> <laughs> you take uh. another piece you feel like this coming here <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> right, can I- I can't go in there. Can you get it off the floor? Can I lick it? Guess what? Not. Can I lick it off the floor? Guess not. Why would you want to lick it off the floor? I don't know. So you save after knocking the candy over. I see. Dad is calling you a murderer. Dodge the thing. You move the heart around. Killed something that was harmless. Nice. So how did that death feel? Do it. Do it. Cinnamon or butterscotch? Sorry, I missed the first part of that. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Let the hate flow through you, Karen. <laughs> Three out of four great rocks recommend you push them. Yes, I have already played Undertale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Is that thing on the wall, say? Three out of four rocks recommend you push him. It sounds like a hint. Yes, yes, yes. Oops. Okay, why do you keep... Because I'm trying what? to figure out what I can push. Are you kidding? It's this... Where's Just that, right? Where is there a rock? Okay, why are you pushing it down? Look at the setup here. Oh, that's a hole? That's... that's... Is she serious? She's not a gamer! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassed. It's alright. It's alright. Wait. Oh. didn't.
Guess I did. Now I did a lot. Yeah, that's another hint. Is there a streamathon tomorrow? I don't know about a streamathon. Unless you're talking about Jay, I have no idea what the fuck Jay is gonna do. But, uh, I don't know, I might come here and stream tomorrow. In our normal streaming time. Why not? Rabbit, rabbit. You gotta, you remember, you, you move the heart around. So you have to dodge things. What? Dodge. You ran right into the frog. I thought I was supposed to move out of a ring of hearts. You, you, you have to, your heart, your heart has to dodge the white things. He didn't do one last year, but Jay in the past has done, uh, New Year's streams. Was it normally New Year's Eve? I don't even remember. Did you see the pattern? Yeah, you fall different places when you go in different holes. What does this room look like? And what was the hint? It's not the same room? They're showing you the path. Candy. Did Jay say he's streaming? If Jay's streaming, I'm probably not going to stream. I mean, so I'm going to send Jay a text. You're supposed to remember where the leaves are on the bottom and then yep. not walk on there on the top? Yep. <sighs> okay. Oh, he said nothing just in the past it was 12 to 12? Okay. He hasn't streamed in years? I thought last year was the only year Jay hasn't done it. Which apparently last year and this. And he is not, so I'll stream. I'll I will stream tomorrow. I don't think it's gonna be an all day thing. Basically, I don't know when I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I'm just gonna wing it. It might be earlier. Karen, the path goes all the way down. You can see it. What were his streams about? He didn't say anything. He just... He just uh, showed movies. Uh, 
Let's go all the way down. Why did you go over? Why did you fall in that exact same hole? What is wrong? Why did you do that? Why? It was like you... you I'm flabbergasted. Oh, and then all the way down. Yeah. Is there a way you can watch the streams from the past now? Uh, they're on our YouTube channel. Previously recorded on YouTube. Whoops. You're murdering everything, aren't you? You have no interest in sparing lives, huh? Is Anything in it for me? You get to feel all warm and happy inside? There might be. How do you know? Oh, Jay's old streams? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. They're archived anywhere. What? Talking to the chat. What was that sound? I don't know. Talking rocks? Aww. You want me to move some more? Yeah, alrighty. How's this? I guess it works. Uh oh. Now I have a frog and a. Yep, yep. What? Oh, it was the wrong direction? Okay, uh, I think I think I got it. <laughs> there you go, honey. Honey. <laughs> what? Oh, you, you want me to stay there? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Gee, you give me a real workout here, lady. Oh, jeez. Uh, is that good? Huh? Uh, tell me, can I move now? Why can I move? <laughs> hey, hey, let me know where I can move. I don't know. I don't know. Is, is that a mouse hole over there? Oh, jeez. I guess it is. I know. That makes you smile. Come on out of there, you little bastard. <laughs> Let's see you can kill the mouse. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like mice. They're cute. Pretending the sleeve. That's cute. Moving up with force. Here comes the Napstab look. Napstab look. I'm fine. Thanks. Whoops. Just plugging along. I'm really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. That doesn't seem to be having an effect. Maybe you gotta do something else. I 
I think if spare isn't yellow, it won't work. But the text will be in yellow. Uh -oh. uh -oh. What the hell? Other way, other way, yep. No. What else can you do? Yeah, not what I meant to do. I need to go to one of the other options. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What's an act? I just weigh you down. Oh, hell. Candy. How are you liking this? No? Not not loving it? Not real good at it. <laughs> but are you liking it? It's got some cute, 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 cute uh, portions. I mean, the the, the, uh, the clinical depression that seems to be exhibited by most of the denizens of this dungeon is cute. Probably watch Jack and my playthrough of this game. Okay. Jack and who? Jack and me. Oh, okay. This. This are, you, are you done? Yeah. You're What's, done? Ne What's next? Wow, Karen. Karen is not giving Undertale a pass. How do you Undertale fans feel about that? It's good. I'm just not. How do you? How do you feel about that? Karen's not gonna doom it up. She's not gonna like doom. Karen's bad at doom. I the original doom or the new one? New one. I okay. think that's what they're thinking about. Cause I mean I have played the original one. Yeah. Show her the puppers. Puppers? What puppers? What the hell are you talking about? Is it a game with dogs? <laughs> Crying tears that look like dollar signs. I lost the bluk. Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sort of incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. You lost one experience point. That's, well, that's not kind. All right, what's next, what's next? No, I'm not gonna teach Karen XCOM. That she's not gonna like it, and I don't think it'll be very entertaining. Uh, what do we got? I don't know. I mean, we got the we got cats, pets, uh, pets I'll, with cats. I'll tell you what we got. We got an hour and a half. That's what we got. That's the that's my goal for crying out loud. We can play with actual puppies. What's sleeping dogs about? Um, oh no, that's I think that's a where's that? At? Where do you even see that? S L I S I S I R L comes after oh, I. Oh, it's, well, it's down below the. All right, fine, fine. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's that's a whole like Grand Theft Auto type of thing. I think I've seen Binding Isaac. It looks dreadfully hard. Well, you could just talk to people and I could play FTL. That could work. That's that's the easy route. Oh, actual puppies. I'm totally game with actual puppies, but we don't have any actual puppies here. City Sky... I don't know if a sim game that we don't know how to play is a good way to... is a good game to stream. 
golf with your friends? Wanna play some golf? I'm gonna say no. Okay. It looks cute. All right. Fuck it. Looks like mini golf. Here. I don't know how easy the controls are, but... Let's see how long it takes to download. That's the, that's the important question. We've done Rocket League before. I don't know if we did on the stream. I've played Rocket League. It usually involves me going, No, no, go the other way! Ah, I don't want to go that way! And getting stuck on the ceiling. Alphabetizer DVDs. That'll take some time. Show me Dropsy. Eh. Day of the Tentacle. I still need to play that. A trivia can be fun. We make up your damn mind. I just downloaded this golf game. Let's play the golf game. Are there any good trivia games besides you don't know Jack? Not that I could find on Steam. We looked that one. That's why I'm asking them. Oh, the Shantae too. What should you rather do? Golf for the sh the cute platformy one with the girl, the belly dancing genie. The Looks belly dancing her. genie. That's what you want? Yeah. Rather than golf? Yeah. Okay. We'll do golf next time. Although that mini golf does look like quality mini golf. Rich and I enjoy good mini golf in real life. Newer one or one of the only ones? Which, which, which shanty? There's three of them available on stream. Which one? Is, which one is good? Is Quiplash a trivia game? What's a good trivia game? It's Quiplash trivia. You don't know Jack is something where people from the stream can play, if I'm not mistaken, unless I'm mistaken. The new one? Pretend like I'm an idiot when it comes to games. You don't need to pretend. Okay. They can't see this, can they? They shouldn't. Okay. They can't. Okay. Oh, we're doing the golf? Well, I already started downloading it. Okay. Before you changed your mind like eight times. It's fantasy violence and suggestive themes. Oh, we're doing Shantae. Which one are we doing? You said you wanted to play Shantae! I do! Then why was golf just up? Because that was the store page! That's not the game itself! Alright, let's play. It's got a dumb. Well, then play a golf one, because it's already downloaded. Oh. Or not. Calm your tits. Calm. Calm your tits. They're pretty calm. No, they're not. Calm. They're tits. not calm You guys tits. calm? I'm calm. I'm calm. Calm your fucking tits. I'm calm. I'm calm. This is how Rich could suff suffocate in his sleep in, sleep in 10 years. We've been together more than 10 years. I haven't suffocated him yet. All right. Uh, what, quiplash? I'm not exhausted. I'm just under the weather. Karen's sick. Yeah. I spent a good chunk of yesterday sleeping. 
Oh. So it's some apples to apples bullshit. We know Jack. Truffle. Oh, you mean like blowtorch? Yeah. Uh, some apples to apples bullshit. I think it looks uh, like fun. I think it looks like fun. Uh, <laughs> well, we already downloaded two different games. So I'm sorry. You're gonna be. The, the answer is go, You're gonna be. go fuck yourself. Is that is what I'm saying. That's what I'm what I'm that's the statement. <laughs> the statement, the factual statement that I'm making is you can go fuck yourself. I'll remember that. <sighs> How do you spell it? A E. What a weird name. Update. All right, now we go to this thing. We got to update the overlays. It's an extra thing to update. That's what that is. Has Karen played Quop? Yes. Have I? The awkward moving game. The oh, marathon. the one with the with the octopus. No, the other one with the the marathon guy. Oh yeah, I played that too. Both of them. Both the one where you're an octopus and and it's your wedding and the strange athlete one all right that's done that's you know done. what i've been wanting to play what? Well, not that we're something entirely today. different that i have to download that's not one of the three other games i've downloaded that you've changed your mind on nope it's probably not on here anyway crash well, bandicoot i haven't played that years probably not on here Chant. The size of my main hard drive? I need a bigger one right now. I got, um, was it two terabytes? Or something? Yeah. I'm, I'm like a pack rat. I don't, I don't uninstall things and I should uninstall more things. Um, was it? And I have been going computerless for like four years now. I've just been using the Chrome box, but you, you, I need you, to get into some Windows stuff. you got one, you won't help me finish the damn case for you. Soon. But you've got one. I bought you a new video card for I know, it. I want to get it going. Somebody was nice enough to send it to it you. It was awesome. And it's like, you want to come and paint I'm the I'm afraid I'm going to screw it up. I want it to be perfect. I'll, you know what? I'll just do it myself. You'd do it better than I would. No, please. Um... Yeah, there is an HD remake coming out for Crash Bandicoot. I don't think it's out yet. They're redoing it with nicer graphics. They're not going to make it true 3D, are they? Because that would suck. It's kind of nice. Crash Bandicoot is. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's it's a game. The it's game mechanics. It's going to be the same game. Okay, because game mechanics are, are it's gonna be the same game. side scrolling. There's yeah. not a lot of depth. Yes and no. I mean, it's full 3D. It's just a side scroller and a corridor. And yeah, it's going to be the same. The camera isn't panning around in circles. I'm getting too distracted. I need sick. to fix the stream so people can see what we're doing. My summer car jalopy. <clears throat> there we go. Drive the controller. You can play this fun, fun platforming game where you, you leap around, you do things with your leaping and your jumping and you... You whip lash hair and all that shit. It's gonna be fun, fun, fun. I'm sure. Here's what's her face with her yeah. underwear hanging above her head. Huh? She like an elf or something? She's a genie. That's the game is called Half Genie Hero for crying out loud. These are basic things.
Oh, she's adorable. It's a nice animation. <sighs> Maybe you go down that hole. I don't know. I was hoping there's something else I could do too. Video was zoomed in. Oh, I see that. I see that. I'm fixing it. Karen, we're gonna pause. No, 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 no. Don't. I paused it because you unpaused oh, it. I thought you were gonna. Uh, OBS percent. Here. Oh my god. It's fighting me. Why is it fighting me? Oh, that sounds cool. A game you have to derail a train using realistic physics. Nice job. This looks great. You kind of interact with the fireflies. That's neat. Yeah. The other buttons do anything? Okay. No, but I can crawl. going in a random trap door she finds, huh? That's fine. Do I get burnt? That little stumble animation was cute. Can we do anything to him or just avoid him? Oh, I know I've seen videos of this. She should have some kind of hair whip. Maybe you just don't have it yet. Skipping all that fancy story stuff. I was reading it. That was fine. The game just taught you something. Pay attention. Well, Karen is skipping through things real fast. I don't think anybody's paying attention. So what did they say? I don't know, because I was busy listening to you. Why were you busy listening to me? I don't have anything interesting to say. You didn't save? No. Why the hell not? 
Why the hell would I? I haven't done anything. Well, you got to read that story thing again. Something goes bad. Well, good. Then I'll pay more attention next time, apparently. <laughs> Apparently I can do stuff with my hair now. So I guess this means no stream tomorrow. No, I'll probably stream tomorrow too. Fuck it. Like I got better shit to do. I'm I'm angry at XCOM. I'm so I, I need to take out some aggression. I'm probably gonna play Doom. Probably. I'm very mad at XCOM. <laughs> what happened? If I press Y, I shake my hips. Why am I angry at XCOM? As you know, because I've talked about it a lot on on stream uh, the last few weeks, is I've been trying to do a no soldiers lost run through on XCOM. And the last few days, the last few days, I have been having the most epic XCOM run I have ever had in the fucking five, six, however many years it's been I've been playing the reboot XCOM. Everything was going right. Uh, the, the steam vents were in just the con most convenient places. I was doing good research. I was getting good rewards. I was just sailing through the game like fucking butter. And um, I got to the... This is, I guess this is a spoiler. I don't know. If you haven't played XCOM by now, you're probably not going to. I got to the... There's this one mission very near the end of the game. The the Overseer UFO. And, uh... <clears throat> no losses. I got Titan Armor, Ghost Armor. I got all the fucking plasma weapons. I got my... On what difficulty? Classic. Classic. That's my favorite difficulty. It feels right. Classic feels good. And I'm, at, I'm on the Overseer ship. And, uh... You know, I'm being smart. I've got some... I, I, I made sure I brought... I got, like, three ghost grenades. I got my one heavy who can carry double grenades. He's got two ghost grenades. And then I got a uh, different soldier had another ghost grenade. This is my, those are my two backups in case shit hit the fan. I was going to ghost grenade everybody. And uh, my troops are chasing down this this elite muton. M muton? Muton? Who's running away. And I'm chasing him down to kill him. And, Mutant, um, probably, like, mutated. Mutant, probably. I uncover a sectopod. Sectopods are very dangerous. They're like tanks. They're like walking... They're like ED-209, if he was competent. That's what a sectopod is in XCOM. And I'm like, all right, no, I'm fine. That's a, that's a sectopod. This is what I brought my ghost grenades for. So I, I run my heavy up. I, I rapid fire the sectopod just to start whittling its health down. Everybody who could see him, which wasn't everybody... Started whittling his health down. And then I used my ghost grenades. Everybody is cloaked. I can't get hit. And what happens? The sectopod walks past my troops and fucking triggers my assault's close combat perk, which automatically fires when something gets within uh, four squares. Takes a useless shot on the sectopod that wasn't going to come anywhere near to killing it. And it revealed him from ghost mode. He was no longer in stealth. And he had a sectopod that was literally standing right next to him. He got shot. He got critted. The muton, the elite muton we were chasing, he now sees my exposed, heavily injured assault trooper. He takes a shoot at him. Another crit. I lost my favorite fucking soldier in the game, and my no soldiers lost ruin was killed. It probably would have been... I was probably within a few missions of beating the game. Because the, the last mission is fucking cake. It's a fucking cakewalk. And I am so pissed at XCOM right now. I am never taking that close combat perk again. Never. I like the dinosaur. Like, geez, I'd rather listen to Rich ramble about Trek. 
it doesn't sound like you like any of the things I talk about. Why do you watch? But I mean, I was, I was like literally three missions away, maybe four from beating the game and uh, accomplishing something I've spent the last two months chipping away at. This is when I hear him screaming obscenities in the night. <laughs> Not this time. This time I was just defeated. I was just utterly defeated. I was dead silent. That wouldn't have happened if it was a support, just saying. I also wouldn't have gotten that far if it were a support. That that troop had like over a hundred fucking kills. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was I was just sitting there at dead silent after it happened. I saved and quit deleted the file and sat there. I just sat there. Support wouldn't have brought them back to life. Supports can't bring back the dead. It only matters if they're critically injured. He was dead, god damn it. Just save scum, no one would know. Well, for one, I would know, and it's my own personal challenge, so save scumming would completely defeat the point. And another thing is I was playing Iron Man. Where I can't save scum that. Classic rage quit? It's not a rage quit. My whole point was to do a deathless run. The minute that soldier died, it was just over. There was no point in not quitting. I've beaten the game before normally. Dozens of times. Blitzwing says, I don't understand this kind of challenge by arbitrary rules. If there's a one in a thousand random chance of a rich, perfect game, roll the dice enough, eventually he'll win with a lot of wasted time. Here's the thing, though. It's not just rolling the dice. It's, it's using superior tactics, which I guess the problem was taking the close combat perk. But that was a tactical failure on my part, not just random chance. XCOM's about minimizing the randomness. Hey Rich, what percentage of XCOM do you think comes down to RNG? RNG? Random number generator. Um. Oh, shit. No, I mean, in a, in a sense. Shit. In a sense, all of it. Triple shit. But I mean, you can, you can manipulate what, what, what your percentages are, what your, what your odds of failing are. Like if you're, if you just play shitty, your odds of losing somebody are probably relatively high. Very high. But if you use good tactics and you're smart about what you do, you, you minimize that. You bring that, it's, it's 10%. You, you, you know, XCOM is about manipulating the randomness. And the randomness is what makes it fun. It's what makes it... Uh, it, it's what keeps it from being just, you do the same thing all the time and you're guaranteed to win. There's no... There's no thrill in that. I kind of like the RNG. And it would be one thing if you were completely at its mercy, but like I said, there, there are things you can do to, to, to stack the odds, to get to have the odds be more favorably, to go in your, uh, to go in your Ooh, favor. Ooh, got toasted. Yeah. What? 
Nothing. I got distracted I by. I got burned. You got burned? Are you I like burned. this? This is fun. It's cute. But it's not fun. It's just cute. Well, I don't know yet. I just started. Okay. I'm sure. Uh, are we ever going to watch Pass Through, Neil Breen's newest legitimate feature film on Best of the Worst? Says Gavin1529. It's a matter of when, not if. We, we're, we're going to do it eventually. Huh. That's not Oh, I can't just jump on here. Can I jump on any of these things? It's not. Does this have to be pushed with my hair or something? MC Lucas says, mm. would you say that XCOM 2 has more randomness, what with weapon, mod effects and all, and would you say that's a good or bad thing? I think it's a, it's a fine thing. Like I said, XCOM's about getting dealt the cards and then playing them the smartest way possible. I don't, I don't think RNG is absolutely a horrible thing unless you're a speedrunner. What did I do to Jack? I don't know what the hell is going on with Jack. He has not been returning my message. Actually, I got one. I got a, I finally, after like a week, got a, a Happy New Year's text from Maybe Jack. Maybe he's doing a digital but detox or something. It could be. I've heard very little from him since he's been on his vacation. It's his yearly family reunion. Email, I know. Isn't it? I'm sure he's busy. Yeah. He's spending time with his relatives. He's got a lot of them, I hear. Yeah. It was a thing I needed to talk to him about, and he wasn't around. He wasn't around. We suspect when he's full of family love or sick of his relatives, whichever happens first, that he'll be back. Oh, jeez. No! Bitch. Did they just keep coming out? No. Ugh, I need a heart. Alright, when's the fire go out? Can I put it out with my hair? Or just jump over it. Shake your hips at the enemy. It's bugging me not knowing what it does. Says Shiva X51. Okay. At the enemy, right? That's what they're saying. I don't know if it I don't know if it will do anything. that they seem to be kind of froze. Didn't seem to do too much to them. Maybe, maybe you get some kind of like hip powers later. You just don't have them now, would be my guess. I, this is adorable. Legitimately. Whoa! Oh! So you just, oh, you just swim? I guess you can't get up with a higher ledge. Some beautiful sprites. Some of the backgrounds I'm less sold on. I'm gonna get up there. And you, you, you jump. There was it worth it? <laughs> no, up up on the up on the upper right. <laughs> oh, you probably can you swim over there or something? She can transform through that dance button. So you probably just don't have things you can. No, no, here I go. Turn I into over yet? Here. Now I'm over here. You good? This game doesn't appear to be challenging at all, is it? It is the first level. Well, I seem to be making it through it pretty well, and this is me. So 
so probably not. Oh, you have little faith in yourself. That's sad. That's so sad. That's a lot of pirate dudes. What didn't work? Oh, jumping up and down to keep it from falling or something? No, jumping on the one and then jumping back on the one I oh, had been on. Oh, yeah. No, that would not work. Yeah, does it need to be challenging to be fun? Tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. You hate that song. Why are you singing that? Because it's my heart. But you hate that song. I do. I'm a woman of many contradictions. Oh, why are all these people throwing Molotov cocktails on ancient wherever they are? Loki B85 says, Rich, would you go back to your XCOM game that you play through to the end? I vol volunteer my soldier to the meld <laughs> program. Make wow. me a psionic or a mech trooper to get some use out of me? Question mark. I can make you a mech. I can do that. I can't. I can't make you a psionic. That's that's all up into the uh, up in the air. It's 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 not. A, I can't guarantee that. This is this is this is old school platforming right here. It's one minute to twenty seventy. That depends on where you are. I got a full hour. Yeah, we're going by us 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 standard time. <laughs> <laughs> we realize if you're in the Pacific. You know, time zone, it's different, or basically any time zone that isn't ours. But we're going by ours. You haven't seen me play Rocket League in a while, Rich. Are you over it? Says, uh... He's just been so x commie that it's yeah. just, there's no room for anything else in this No! Line. Well, it's... a little bit of Doom. I don't I... think you've noticed, but a little bit of Doom. Uh, not that I've seen. It's happened. I guarantee you what's happened. Oh, I believe you. Have some hair. Have some hair, you son of a bitch. Mm. <laughs> well, it sounded like I'm having fun noise. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mm. Not that one. That sounded mm. like a, that was a whimper if I ever heard one. Mm. Nope. Can he double jump? No. Okay. Have some hair. Does it, does it go with the beat of the music? Probably. You got it. You got it. Go up here and collect the family jewels. Have some hair. Morin3 says, So I finished Doom the other day. I sort of felt like the game should have ended with the Marine just straight up punching that robot's head off and walking off screen. I fully agree. There was no reason for Doom to do that kind of sequel bait bullshit. Uh, the game was so fucking fun, it didn't kill the game for me. But yeah, it it didn't need to do that at all. 
and I would be first in line for the sequel if they did. So ha happy new year, everybody, in the wrong time zone. Switch off, sure. talk to me. All right. Actually, I think Greenwich is the master time zone. Yeah, DST is just DST. I see it better. Oh, now we're having time zone fights. CST is the best time zone. Actually, CDT is the best time zone, and we're currently not in it. I much prefer daylight savings. Let's see. Where were we? <laughs> you read this one, right? What's this one? You can read it again if you want. I think I did. Happy New Year. Oh, yeah. I threw up and I'm barely drunk. I hate drinking. Fuck this year already. Fuck you. It's January. Eh, not many tips tonight. That's fine. It's an off night. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cute. A boatload of whatever they are and a ship with a face. All right. Well, China kind of has a mono time zone. I mean, it's a huge, huge section of land, and it's all on one time zone, despite, in the solar sense, being a good number of hours from one end to the other. And they seem to get it done. They said your inner weeaboo finally came out. I forget what a weeaboo is. That's a uh, fan of anime. Yeah. Uh, this game is cute doesn't mean I ship would on a slug. This yeah, this game yeah. is cute doesn't mean no on a snail. It's I got a snail in the back. Awesome. Sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> it's interesting that you say it's one Wisconsin accent because I'm not from Wisconsin. Northern Illinois. Like I know it's such a huge difference, but South suburbs of Chicago. What am I supposed to do? Oh, am I, cl I climb up here? I think he's a... Yeah, he's like got a snail shell on his back end. And three eyes. I know you're talking about a time zone for the whole planet, but I'm just saying, that chi if China can manage it over like, you know, five hours or something, why not? Would people go into space? I guess you would have to, you would set it by some arbitrary time zone. No, I don't Chicago. Chicago. Nobody I know in Chicago goes Chicago. Or sausage. Sausage, Chicago. Have I ever been to the West Coast? I have not. That's like a very specific accent, probably spoken in a very small area by a very few number of people. Yeah, the, the dub bears thing yeah. is, is uh, more... Un uncommon. The, well, d the dub bears thing was, was kind of a south side of Chicago accent. The thing is... For like 30 years now, the South Side of Chicago has been black people and Mexican people who don't talk like that. Yeah. That was a specific time and a specific place Chicago accent that doesn't really, it, it's dispersed. There are people who do the da, da, da bears thing, but they're kind of dispersed now.
Well, New England accents tend to have the, the non-rhotic R's, you know, park your car. And, and Chicagoans have very rhotic R's. I mean, when I think of, like, West Coast, I think of, like, Kurt Cobain's accent. Yeah, Fargo, Fargo's like Minnesota, North Dakota, some place north and west, but not like Seattle, north and west, north and middle. Say Ogden Avenue. Like that. Why the hell are we streaming? I don't know. Didn't have any other plans. We're not really, really party animals. Rest in peace, Kurt Cobain, damn you, 2016. That was 1994. He's been gone a while now. I think that Ogden. was a joke. Well, do other people say Ogden? How do you say O-G-D-E-N? Ogden? Yeah, Ogden Avenue. I think that's how everybody says it. So I thought the Uper was like the Upper Peninsula people. Like Michigan. People outside of Chicago don't say Ogden that way? Well, yeah, of course everyone has an accent. Or everyone thinks they don't and everyone else does. We got a tip from... Dan and stuff. He tipped us a lucky number and a smile right back at you. Ogdenville, Brockway, and North Haverbrook. Don't know where that is. Am I starting with like a half heart of health? Yeah, accents are, there's all different accents and there's like they change over time, like supposedly, increasingly, a lot of people are saying caught and caught the same way. And dawn and don the same way. I'm starting with a half heart of health. Because Karen did a bad job of getting it. Am I your sister? I hope not. That would be like creepy. That would be really weird. <laughs> people don't believe that I can have a love life. See, to me, so, so, Central Illinois almost has like a southern accent because... Like, when I first started going on AOL, I had a f friend that I met online, and I met his, him and his family. They, they had a work trip up at uh, Navy Pier, and I Southern, met him up there. Southern Illinois is practically the deep south. Well, no, but we're talking about central Illinois. He was, he was, they were from um, Rantoul, which is up by Champaign. Remember? They were like, and they're, they're like, Karen, school me. Everything was, they, their accent was definitely different. Someone says they think you missed a tip. Did I miss a tip? Oh, I did. Apologies. Hi, Rich. Hi, Karen. Didn't want this night to go tipless. Here's a little bit for all the entertainment. Keep Thank playing you games games you like. Also, LOL, Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another one from Gobbledy. That was from uh, G Shots. And this is from Gobbledy Cooks. Happy New Year. What's a pirate's favorite letter? The C. Har, har, har. I figured it would be R. That's, there's multiple jokes. There sure are. There are, they, they do different versions of that. I'm sure I've heard that. R-C. Yeah. <clears throat> anything south of proper Chicago sounds southern? I don't know. Anything, I think anything it's south of Kankakee sounds southern. Yeah. Although some people in Joliet who grew up there have, have something different going on. It's not exactly southern, but it's different. I think most people lump, don't, either don't know about Joliet or lump it in with Chicago. So. I mean, well, if, I mean, a fair number of Joliet p residents are, are transplants from Chicago or transplants from Chicago suburbs. They're all kind of mixed together. No, Rantoul isn't practically Indiana, at least not the one I know of. Rantoul, this Rantoul is, um, I mean, accent-wise, you know, parts of some parts of Indiana, but Rantoul is just a little bit north of, like, about 20 miles north of Champaign. Champaign-Urbana in Illinois. They said nice snail killing. Thank you. It's cute. 
It's a cute game. They ask if you can leave the stage to go get more health. Well, mood point now. I've seen the Alien Covenant trailer. Uh, here's this is telling. I've seen it, and I can't remember a damn thing that happened in the trailer. It it is it completely left my brain. This came up last stream, and I'd watched the trailer that morning, and I couldn't remember anything that happened in the damn trailer. So, yeah, Mantino. I mean, it's like some of those suburbs. It's like people who grew up in them have a little bit of a in the far southwest suburbs which didn't really used to be suburbs even. They just kind of turned into suburbs of Chicago. They do have a little bit of a different something. I think something cute's gonna happen. But a lot of people are transplants. Something cute? He she turned into a monkey! <laughs> and she can climb! Oh, this is so cute! <laughs> now she's a human again? Well, I think that was just the, t the monkey tutorial. <laughs> That's such a cute monkey! <laughs> Yeah, Peoria's, Peoria's far enough down that, that it sounds different than the Chicago suburbs accent, but it's subtle. Like, if you're from, like, Boston, I don't know if you would hear it. But I'd like to save the game. Oh, sure, I guess. Yes, definitely. Accents are neat. I really like West Virginian accents. And Pittsburgh accents are fun. Who can get rid of these pirates for good? Uh, we're not talking about you, Moki. <clears throat> Just free the, rent. The Reasonable savage review. negligible fish smell. The early issues of the Savage Dragon comic book took place in Chicago. He was a Chicago cop, the Savage Dragon. And somebody, it wasn't Eric Larson himself, but somebody wrote like a Savage Dragon miniseries. And the, the the artist for it drew mountains in the background. What? There were mountains in the background. The glaciers scoured the fuck out of Chicago. What is now Chicago and a good deal of its suburbs is on the bottom of an ancient lake bed. It stood out like a sore fucking thumb. Chicago has no mountains. The cornfields, Ted! The corn or the, the mountains, Ted, the mountains! We're over Iowa! The cornfields, Ted, the cornfields! You, Sorry, I like airplane. Are you fond of the movie Halloween? The classic horror film? You know, I haven't seen it in 20 years at least. Do you know where it takes place? Here, have some, <clears throat> have some game. Do you know where it takes place? Um, Michigan or something? Illinois. Okay. Mike pointed this out. Yeah, Chicago is flat. It's like Chicago. It takes place in like Chicago suburbs. Some, somewhere in Illinois that's fairly urban. Mike pointed this out when we're doing the commentary track for Halloween. There's a, there's just like a, like a shot or two with a school. Uh, like an elementary school. It's an outdoor hallways. Yeah, they, they, they have done you, that. They you would not see that here. There was there was one place where they did it. People said it was such a bad idea. Where? I forget. Somebody was saying it was such a bad idea. Yeah, you don't do outdoor hallways for schools in the Midwest because it's too fucking crappy out six months of the year. Haddonfield, Illinois, yeah. But I think there was at least one school where they did that. It's just a bad idea. Moraine kind of had that going. All, the, all these different buildings. So you had to stroll across campus in the middle of freeze-to-death winter. Your high school was built on a hill all outdoors. Yikes. Well, I mean, the Midwest is mostly flat unless some river recently did it or a glacial, post-glacial deluge scoured the shit out of it and, and, you know, made a river extra deep or or, or, or some glacial le glacier left garbage all over the place, like, like glacial erratics and moraines and drumlins and all that good shit. And kettle moraines. They want to know if your microphone is on. They say they can barely what? hear you. Barely? What? No, that can't be true. That can't be true. What? I see my thing going. I see my line. I see your thing. Here. Maybe they're just fucking with you. 
Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me? I jiggled the cord. They say you sound... This person says you sound fine at this point. Okay. It's deluge, not deluge. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say it. Maybe I'm just channeling my inner... Uh, deluge. Gina. I would say it. Huge. Oh, I have been to Matheson State Park. It's beautiful. The bluffs. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's Matheson or Matheson or whatever state park and Illini State Park and Starve Rock State Park. Did you ever tell them our story about Starve Rock State Park? Probably not. Rich and I went on a field trip. Rich is just so loud that his breathing sounded like he was talking. Well, what? Anyway, we, uh, we went on a field trip with the local community college to uh, Starve Rock. And... There was this special guy. I don't know if he was... I don't know what his deal was, but he was on medication, supposedly, and probably shouldn't have been... Wouldn't, shouldn't have been unsupervised, but I don't think the people running this thing were made sufficiently aware of that fact. Anyway, we found ourselves wandering around trying to find him, wandering around with the park rangers, trying to find this guy, and then I was supposed to go babysit, and they didn't believe me why I was late. I'm like, no, really, there's this, <laughs> this guy, and he ended up on the other side of the dam, supposedly, and I don't even know how you do that. You probably walk across the Yeah, dam. I didn't know you could walk across the dam. I didn't know they'd let you. Like, you might set a they bomb probably, off on they it. They probably don't let you. I mean, he wasn't all there. He was... Yeah. He was specially enabled. Something. I don't know if he was, you know, psychotic. I gotta walk across the thing. I, I don't know if he was it's psychotic or, or if he was developmentally delayed or all the Is above. It, I thought... No, I really... I thought that was it. I thought... I heard he was special. He was... Well, somebody I said heard, something about medication. I heard he was a retard. That's what I was told. He broke his back climbing bluffs. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Those are some tall bluffs. You know what else has some really nice bluffs is Garden of the Gods State Park. Where I almost got blown off a bluff. I swear, it, the wind was intense and I stood up and I started to lose my balance. And I was like, oh shit, I do not want to fall. But that's at the bottom of the state. Yeah, if you're ever near... Um, Utica, Illinois. Definitely check out Star Rock. Galena's really pretty too. That's out in the uh, uh, northwestern corner of the state. <laughs> Illinois has got a lot of nice state parks. They're not as showy as like, you know, Grand Canyon or something, but remember we went to that one um, in the bottom of the state and they had there was prickly pear cactus growing atop of the bluffs and I'm like, seriously, in Illinois? But it's shit, toil, shit soil, and I guess they like it there. They watch Dirk Gently, and they're pretty sure one of the characters is based on Mr. Plinkett. Really? They also say that they're triggered because you said retard. Mm -hmm. And they're glad to see us playing Chante because it's always been one of their favorite names. I hope you don't mind that I don't know what the hell I'm doing, though. Especially because Karen played the first part of the game before she handed over the controller. I have no idea what's going on. Can I go down that path? No, I can't. She got married in Galena? It's pretty, though. It's, like, unglaciated. Utica. Utica, Illinois. That's uh, where Star Rock is. It's on the, uh, the oh, Illinois monkey. State River, or Illinois River. Monkey jumps high. I don't know about Mermaid Falls. There might be one something called that there. It said you just need to remove your skeleton. Ah, uh, jokes. They never get old. Where's Jack? Say some Jack stuff. Um. Pokemon. Okay, uh, Pokemon. I like the Pokemons. Pokemon's cool. Duma Duma Duma, doom it up in the Pokemon. I have a mild Pokemon story from today. Okay. For reasons, I had to go buy some Star Wars stuff. There's a Garden of the Gods in Colorado. This isn't that one. This was in Illinois. Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. You have, you have a big habit of just interrupting me mid-sentence. 
Well then. For for work, I had to buy some some Star Wars stuff. For work. For work. And you poor uh, child. I grabbed some posters. They had a Star Wars poster bin. I grabbed some. And when I get uh, back here, I noticed that somebody had just thrown apparently just thrown some Pokemon posters in with the Star Wars ones. Half half the posters. Two of the four posters I bought are Pokemon posters. Fascinating. Yeah, I know the interruption kind of heightened the the anticipation for the story. Originally, it would have been, well, I bought some posters and two of them were Pokemon, but no, I had the interruption and that became a thing. And well, oh god, that interruption! What's he gonna say? This must be important now. No, it's not. They said that you are the baseline. Jack is the baseline that gives you scale. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Dixon Mounds Native American Museum in Illinois. Check that out if I'm ever near it. I assume that's in Dixon. Passive aggressive popcorn. <laughs> You know, I've driven by Bong Recreation and sniggered at the name, but I have never actually been there. I imagine a lot of potheads like to hang out there just <laughs> because of the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found out something interesting about 420. What about it? It's Hitler's birthday. Pot tea time is also Hitler's birthday. I guess he had to be born sometime. I want to know what Project Hornet is, nope. says Gobbledygooks. Uh, That's nothing, no. Nothing might ever even come of it, so don't worry about it. Sorry, I guess you're SOL, but thanks for the tip. If, if there's something, basically, when there's something very concrete to show for it, you'll, you'll hear more about it. But okay, until then, so you're no asking point. if any of us read. Why, why, why do you ask? Karen, what do you, what book reads, do you want to know about? Karen reads religiously. Sometimes you read about religion. Lately, I've been reading about nuclear disasters. So, talk about it. Talk about it. What have you been reading? What is that book? What is it? Uh, well, I just started it not too long ago. Uh, all right. What's but it called? What's, uh, what's it called? What's it about? Where can they find it? Atomic Accidents. It's on just Amazon, like everything else. It's just called Atomic Accidents. That's the whole name. I think so. All right. I don't remember if it has a subtitle. I haven't looked at the cover, but uh, lately, but. Cool native bounds and bounds in uh, Ohio. Doesn't Cahokia have like cool mounds? How far down is Cahokia? That's in Illinois, right? I have no or idea. Is that Missouri? Or Missouri? Is that how you say it, Missouri? Missouri. Good morning from the yellow and blue people up north. Yellow and blue? I don't know. Aren't Canadians like red and white and with maple leaves on them? Right next to St. Louis? Okay. Well, if we ever go down to St. Louis again, we should stop at Cahokia. Brazil had a pretty terrifying nuclear accident after a chemotherapy machine. Like a radiation machine? Like a, um... Like a there was radiotherapy? A, if this is the incident I'm thinking about, there was some kind of like, yeah, one of those uh, CAT scan kind of machine radiotherapy or something. Or, yeah. and the, well, the hospital was shut down, but the equipment was left there. Okay. Some, some jackass was just breaking into the hospital, messing around, and he ended up grabbing some amazing glowing blue rocks from the cat scan machine and he took them home and oh he, let me give them to my wife and children and like oh look radium half, half the family died of cancer half the family well, or radiation whatever it was half the family died hmm you say it took i mean it killed right i think it was i think it was Curie, but it took a while i think they were selling them too it was a big deal when they had to track down the the fucking radioactive material from the cat scan machine if that's the incident i'm thinking of They say, fuck you, it's January, and a merry new AIDS. Not for another 34 minutes here. And we said, uh, Rich and Karen standard time counts.
They died of karma? The family didn't. It was the, the jackass husband who fucking stole the radioactive material. How do I get that shit down there? Oh, the glow-in-the-dark watch faces. Yeah, those those have some sad stories behind them. The women who painted them. No bueno. A lot of accidents are due to people going to great lengths to ignore or disable all safety measures. They are. All the family died. The guy survived but died of alcohol after many years. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. That's the kicker if it killed everybody but him. Yeah. It was cesium? Okay. Cesium? Cesium? However you say it. These are some mean mermaids. Why are they so mean? Stop being mean. Because they have no vaginas. <laughs> I can... Okay. Okay, I can get that. <laughs> My legs are stuck together. I hate the world. Your old record cleaner had polonium in it? Why? Damn it, damn it. Ah, no good at this. The bottom half of a fish isn't exactly a vagina. I mean, they just kind of squirt out eggs. Most of them, you know, external fertilization on both ends. Would I rather reverse mermaid? Those are in uh, Monster Party. Fish with legs. <laughs> Wonder I really wanted to review. So, so I can just see that some kind of Disney song with, with one of the aerial tunes about how she wants to have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't really want I legs. I want to be owner of a snack. Why, why do you think she wanted legs? She didn't want legs. She wanted a vagina. She wanted, yeah, exactly. It's all there. monkey is so cute. So amazingly cute. Yeah, I say eggs and legs. Not sure where I got that from. Because I say pegs. Isn't that a... Eggs, legs? Wasn't that a, a woman's kind of pantyhose kind of thing? No, but I mean, I, I other people tend to say eggs and legs when I say eggs and legs. But I say pegs. Eggs, peg legs. <laughs> Ariel thought it was better down where it's wetter. It's a whole new world, <laughs> H-O-L-E. <laughs> you, you people are great sometimes. You really are. Yeah. Yeah, it was legs. L apostrophe E-G-G-S. The whole family died of radiation poisoning and had to be put in thick graves to hide, to, to contain the ra ra radiation. Yeah, you see, soda, a which is apparently weird because it's a West Coast thing. There's a fair number of people who say soda and stuff around here, but I grew up saying pop. Rich, you grew up saying pop? Yeah. People get just snotty about it. Yeah. It's pop. It's soda. What's the soda people who get weird about it? Yeah. Because I don't. Th I've yeah, never no, heard I've any never people who say people who say pop are used to hearing people who say soda and don't really care. And sometimes I might even say soda. But uh, there's people who say soda. People who don't say pop just get all the same bent out of shape about pop. The same people who are like, you don't know, like the pack. I'm gonna be a jackass about that for the next 20 minutes. Well, it's like I noticed. I noticed when when I worked at the the uh, Kroger affiliated grocery store that that uh, the the West Coast people were all saying trash, and I'd always said garbage. I certainly knew what both meant. Same thing, basically. 
Yeah, I've heard of that. Everything's a Coke, and then you specify. What kind of Coke do you want? 7-Up, huh? Pop isn't childish. Pop's just... It's pop. It's got S bubbles in it. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, yeah, it's an easy word to say, but lots of words are easy to say. Dog is easy to say. I'm not sure if this is a children's game or not. Look at these women being carried around. By their hair? Are they being... Oh, they're getting, they're getting mermaid parts stuck on their bottom halves. The fish are, like, attaching to them. And eating their vaginas. Oh, it's canine. I'm sorry. Canid. Oh my god. Hound. Cur. Mongrel. Mutt. Yeah, some people do say soda pop. And I'm okay with that. It's an artificial mermaid factory, maybe. They said they shouldn't you shouldn't eat something with a face on it, so they're eating the other half of her. It does have some sexual imagery, but I think it's mostly it would mostly go over kids' heads. Yeah. Like, okay, so a fish is eating, is attaching to their lower body. Okay. Fish is eating them. Okay. There's a fish stuck on them. All right. They wouldn't think about it being sexual. Yeah, it's kind of cute. What are they attached with? Oh, their arms bound behind their heads? I think so. They want to know if she goes supernova when she dies. Sure, why not? Ooh, froggy! I mean, uh, excuse me, monkey. I gotta figure out what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh! I, he, can ca he can grab those. I didn't know that. Alright. Ride it around the other side, maybe. Or maybe she can, too? I'm just curious. How do you turn into a monkey? That's what the dance is. What else can she- Oop! Screen went off. Well, probably other things as you progress. If I had to guess, she's gonna be able to turn into a mermaid later. They, they said it's rated teen, despite having nearly nude women in them. Oh, whatever. Well, so does a package of, that sells Barbie dolls. Lots of things have nearly nude women in them. Hey Rich, here's a good question. What movies rated G and PG back in the day do you think would be rated PG-13 and R today? Gremlins would be an R today. Indiana Jones Temple of Doom would be an R today. Robocop might be an NC-17. <laughs> Airplane? Basically, I think the movies that started PG-13 would probably be R today. Because PG-13 has lost all of its might. PG-13 is, is now stupid pants. Oh, Poltergeist is a good choice. What was Poltergeist rated? Well, at 13, I think, maybe. Wasn't it before PG-13 was a thing? PG-13 wasn't... A thing until like 84, 85. The Temple of Doom and Gremlins kind of led to the creation of PG-13, unless I'm understanding this completely wrong. What was um, Empire Strikes Back? That's G, I think. G? I'd, I'd imagine. Or PG. Probably PG. He does get his hand cut off. Yeah. Lots of people get killed. By lasers, admittedly. Kind of bloodless. It seems weird that that would bother somebody. <laughs> Murder, no problem. I, I, I saw those movies as a kid, and yeah, well, so did whatever. I. Of course, I also saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1 and 2, right, repeatedly. What's, what's my goal? Where are we going? 
Didn't Beetlejuice have a couple fucks oh, in no, it? Oh no, it's the start. I don't know. I don't think Beetlejuice has any fucks in it. It's got a whorehouse, but I don't think it has any fucks in it. I think he grabs a woman's boobs, doesn't he? Yeah. Once again, it's not a fuck. But uh, what is it? PG-13? You get to say one swear? One, one, you get one fuck, I think. I think so. Oh, he says nice fucking model, supposedly. When, when he's looking at the houses. Oh, yeah, the you're right. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? What is, how, the, what is our goal here? How can anybody make 13 without hearing the word fuck about 8 million times? Monkey power, I think. Pol says Poltergeist was R until the filmmakers argued it down to PG. It's, you know, potentially scary. Somebody rips his face off. It's not. It ends up being not real, but somebody rips his own face off in Poltergeist. Have you ever watched this movie not rated yet? Heard about it, haven't seen it. Yeah. He knocks the tree over and then knocks his, knocks his, honks his wanker. That movie, he's just such a great dirty old man ghost. Mm hmm when I was a kid, I was upset he wasn't in the movie more. The Beetlejuice Because the, was, the movie was called Beetlejuice, but he's he's hardly in it. Well, it's, it's about the two new ghosts. I know, but it's called Beetlejuice. And when I was a kid, I still liked the movie. That used to drive me nuts. Like, I wanted more Beetlejuice. Twenty-two minutes until Chicago shoots guns into the into the air instead of at people, so yay. I've never seen much of that. Yeah. Really depends on where you are. People have this idea that the Chicago's, entirety of Chicago Chicago's, is just horrid all the time. Chicago's it's not. Chicago is gangy, but it's 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 not hicky. No, I think they mean like like gang people shooting their guns. Do they do that for New Year's? Do gang people do that? People definitely shoot guns into the air, but they do the, But is uh, that a gang thing? Is that a common gang thing? I, I, I don't think that it is especially. I don't know. When the Cubs won, there were people shooting guns all the time. Yeah, probably. Although, although That's the just biggest Cub fans. Yeah, although the the biggest Cub fan neighborhoods aren't probably the biggest gang member neighborhoods, but doesn't mean that people might not have guns. The story of the guy who played the dad was more sc scary than Beetlejuice himself. Does the actor do something scary? No, he's Alec Baldwin. He's around today. He's Donald oh. Trump on SNL. Oh, that guy. <clears throat> the Night Chicago Died. Paper Lace. That's an old song. So here's my question. Exactly, Jenny, Jenny Eaker. Of course, then so am I. A Here, Sox fan. Here's my question. Is winning the World Series the worst thing that could have happened to the Cubs? Time will tell. Is it the worst thing to happen to them? The lovable losers, the goat curse. Yep. Their whole culture is based around being losers. What the fuck do Cubs fans do now? I don't know. My dad's just Maybe been watching, watching reruns of their game. It's the goat. Well, now they have to work on a... Um, their whole identity is just nothing. Once A, a dynasty. Once, 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 you know, time has gone by and the team is bad again... Because, you know, no team stays good forever. No, what they got? What but they, they got? But, you know, they could potentially win more than one in they, a row. They've thrown away their legacy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think I think winning the World Series in the long run might be the worst thing that happened to the Cubs they, in, a, in a hundred years. They're asking if you can knock the fish off the woman with your hair whip. No. 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 Oh, these guys suck. 
There's also still the Cleveland Indians who now have the longest um, yeah. drought. That Cubs ticket prices, win or lose, have always been pretty high. Although we did manage to get three decent seats for 17 bucks a pop on StubHub, but that was a few hours before game time on a Tuesday afternoon. I have no idea. Nice seats, nice weather, though. And that was a couple years back. Oh, there are definitely teams that have never won a pennant. Yeah, but they haven't been around that long. Like, expansion teams. Like, 50 years. Mm, sure. You want to know why snakes have boobs in this game? Are there snakes with boobs? I guess there, I'm looking at the screen too one. much. There was less a flat-out snake, more than it was like a snake woman. An alligator with a construction hat. Helmet or hard hat. No, that wasn't it. Yeah, that wasn't it. That wasn't the aforementioned snake woman. Ah, god damn it. This is a cute section. I like this. Yeah, this is the section that reminds me of the Amazon warehouse. The what? Miles, where? miles oh. and miles and miles of rolly conveyor belt. Oh, god, stick large in the chat says maybe they are cobras. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is... What do we got here? Totally adorbs, as the children say. Or might say. I don't know what children say. Gobbledygooks. Hey, guys, I just had gallbladder surgery yesterday. Have any of you had any operations? Just curious. Your stream is helping me with the pain. Thanks. Not really an operation. Yeah. The closest I've ever had was I had an ingrown toenail removed. You had a kidney stone, too. That didn't have to be that operated That wasn't an on, operation at all. But you did enjoy just, it. That was just pain medicine is what that was, and eventually it leaves. The only the only operation I've ever had it was dental surgery i had i had an extra tooth inside my jaw and they had to like go inside and screw around with that and then i also had four wisdom teeth extracted yeah. i did have wisdom teeth removed surgically because yeah. they were like yeah buried as fuck but i've never had you know abdominal surgery it doesn't sound like much fun i hope you heal soon and then uh there's a also a message from let me see if i can whoopsies I'm trying to stream up her Scroll up. This time it's lupus. Look at the Boston Red Sox. They won in 2004, breaking their 86-year curse, and they had the same lovable futility in their DNA as the Cubs did. The Red Sox are fine, and so will the Cubs be. I, the Reds, the Red Sox are always going to have a ton they, of funding because they, it's like them and the Yankees. The Red Sox. East Coast people seem to care. The Red Sox lamented losing. The Cubs reveled in losing. Um, well, the wisdom teeth extraction, I mean, I'm sure your mileage varies. I think it's supposedly easier if you haven't chewed on them yet. But on the other hand, mine needed to be dug out of completely out of the bone. But the answer is, no, it wasn't very painful. I was awake for it, and I was just numb to the high heavens with a whole bunch of Novocaine. And afterwards, it just feels like a, a lot more, l less pain and more like a lot of pressure in your jawbone for a couple days. Now I know how Jack feels. And you put ice on it and take your medicine and try to sleep as much as you can. And it's not that bad. I know exactly how Jack feels. So as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. It was like like with, with, with your Boston, with your Red Sox. It was like, oh, the ball, Bill Buckner, the ball. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, God, that Bill Buckner. And we should have won. Cubs, maybe next year. It's the GOAT. It's a different culture. The, like I guess I swear, the Cubs reveled in it. You didn't have any wisdom teeth? That makes you lucky. And yeah, supposedly humans are evolving out of it, having them, but at this point I think the evolutionary pressure, you know, very few people die of their wisdom teeth these days. Maybe in the third world, so 
we're probably stuck. Oh my God! Most that's of us a with having them and our great great grandchildren having them too. But if you don't have them, it's probably for the best. Yeah, Duke, if you've got dental insurance, you know, get him taken out. And you, this person's born with the wisdom teeth and nine other adult teeth. Yeah, that sucks too. I was born with, with, uh, an extra tooth that caused a log jam with one of my baby teeth or adult teeth or something. I don't know. I had besides the besides the wisdom teeth thing, I had a little log jam going up in my jaw that they had to surgically fix and put braces on to make room for shit to move down. I swear to God, I thought you were going to say chromosome for a second there. <laughs> no, I don't have an extra chromosome that I know of. <laughs> I was born with an extra chromosome. <laughs> I mean, you know. Don't know about any mosaicism, but I'm pretty sure I'm genetically normal other than that. Why you no know binding of Isaac? That's Jack's game! Yeah, get your wisdom teeth out sooner rather than later. Because they have a tendency to... Your, parent, your parents are rich and, and, and you've, your parents are doctors. Get, get the teeth taken out sooner rather than later. Nope. It's not going to get easier. It's not going to get cheaper. The recovery is not going to get easier later on. Get it done now before they start causing shit. And my, uh, my, my advice for, for after you have your wisdom teeth taken out is mashed potatoes. Seriously, ice cream is not satisfying. Most liquid diet things are not satisfying. But overcooked macaroni and cheese or potatoes, they'll stick with you. You won't be hungry again two minutes later. And you don't need to chew. Yeah, the dentist kind of has to get you in a headlock, gobbledygooks. It's hard physical work to get those teeth out. He's got to get a hold of your head so we can get some <coughs> leverage. Ryishness. Yeah, some people do have big enough jaws and sometimes it works out fine. But most people don't have enough room for all their wisdom teeth to be happy. Oh, protein shakes are a good idea, too. Mashed potatoes stick with you. Yeah, take the sedative. Great. Yeah, Rich had a dry socket. <laughs> You had a dry socket when you had your tooth done, I right? I think so. What does that even mean? Why is it called a dry socket? It's infected, right? Just what it means, right? Yeah, it's the, the it's when I think it's when the blood clot comes out before it's healed. Mm. They say you have health boosts on the pause screen. Good. All right, I don't, I don't know if those respawn, so I'm going to destroy a couple of locks before I use one. In our time zone, we have 10 minutes. The Rich and Karen time zone is, uh, is central. CST. All right. Baron. 
the central time represent nine minutes whoa she hasn't done that one before i'm fucked well what well i need to go to the bathroom but i think i'm gonna wait another nine minutes so it can yeah. be a happy new year p oh my god that was worthy of my father <laughs> my dad tells horrible puns Horrible jokes. Horrible, horrible jokes. Zats, that does not sound like fun. What happened to Zats? Three years of braces, getting bone grafts, and then upwards of seven screws in his jaw. Or her jaw. He or she is, it sounds like, congenitally missing some teeth. A lot of teeth. Mm I D G A F U U U says, uh, I don't give a fuck you or something. Mm -hmm. Says they were at the Red Fair the same day as us. Oh, you're one of those people that we saw. <laughs> the, the first, the last day of the Red Fair or the other time we went a few weeks before that? The, they're not going to know which trip of ours it was. Well, I mean, was it the very <laughs> last day of the Ren Fair or was it oh, not? Okay. Well, I guess that. Because we went on the very last day and then we also went there a few weeks before that. Send a tip, not sure if it went through. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah. Come. Camo. Chamo. Chamomileable? Chamomileable? Hey, guys. Was wondering if Rich had ever played Arx Fatalis. No. Fantastic RPG. I know he's a huge Thief fan, but I think he might enjoy it. It's on sale now, too, for $2. So here's a $2 tip. Okay. They gave you money to buy it. That was nice. Dad jokes are the best jokes. I'm, I'm, I, I need to figure out if I'm ever going to go back to XCOM after that devastating loss I had last night. That's what I need to figure out. Zats, you're like the kid from Stranger Things, sort of. He had, what, uh, cranio... Cranio... Something dysplasia. Cranio clidial? Clidocranial dysplasia? I think they're all just rating the boobs of this character. They like the jiggle physics. Yeah. I don't know if it's physics, it's jigglemation. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the day Rich did a Twitch stream right after. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we did go, we did end up going twice this year. And. Should I tell them why? Go ahead. Because I forgot, I bought the tickets, but I forgot them at home the first time. So we bought tickets and we're like, well, we got to come back to use the other tickets. So we ended up going you twice. You were like, we got to come back to use well, the yeah. other tickets. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can be a complete space cadet sometimes. It's all right. Edancha. So you just, they just, everything else fine? The teeth just didn't come in? That blows. Were the baby teeth in? Was it like a surprise? Man, that sucks. 11.54. She is so anime looking. She's so anime looking that everybody's dressed like it's, like, tropical. How do I get a hit in here? I think we're about to find out. Were we there the last Sunday or were we there on, on Labor Day? I can't even remember. The first time I've ever been there twice in one year. It was pretty sweet. Although the second time there were a lot, a lot, a lot of crowds. Which made it a little hard to move. I don't think was wisdom teeth can make you look like the elephant man. They could possibly cause your other teeth to shift a little bit and become crowded, but I, I don't think you're ever going to turn into, like, uh, uh, a warthog or something. Oh, this is going to take fucking forever. i got to find, like, a countdown timer. Let me see here. Wait, does this have a countdown timer? 
Should I use my Animal Crossing count? Of course, I'm not sure if that one's completely accurate. Let me open up another window that's got a countdown what time. Excuse me. Google Chrome. Open. I got greedy. Hmm. You know what, I'll just do it on my Chromebook here. Three minutes? Is it three minutes? I gotta find... Give me one sec, I gotta find time here. T-I-M-E time. Official. Okay, right now, the official U.S. time is 11 o'clock, 57 minutes, 42 seconds, p.m. Okay. So how much, how much health does this thing have? Is that the other half of the one you were fighting before? Yeah. She's fighting you with her ass? Well, and her head. Ah! And her glowing head ball. Yeah, I mean, my dad had like a wisdom... A, uh, a molar taken out when he was a kid and his wisdom tooth just kind of popped more or less in the right spot. Nobody's saying that wisdom teeth can never be useful. But if the dentist says to take them out, they're probably causing you a problem. If they hurt, they're probably causing you a problem. They say that you should quickly take shelter in her enormous cleavage. Ooh, 11.59 and 12 seconds. It is close. 20, 35 seconds. Okay. Hey, Rich, 20 seconds. I know. All right. I think we're about done with this. Ah, fuck. Ready for a countdown? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 